Hey guys, you're playing Blue Sun, and we're gonna try to do some shenanigans this game. This is probably okay, I guess. Uh, ooh, okay. It's a little bit awkward, but we'll, we'll cover HQ since we've got two agendas in here. Um, so we're trying out the dedication ceremony, which puts three tokens on something. Let's face up. So you can use dedication to score your Hollywood in a couple turns. With casting call, you can score the government takeover. That's kind of the basic thing we're trying here. Mm. Seeing as this is Quetzal, I might just throw away this Miramati. I don't think it does anything. Chris seems good to see. We're going to need to stop probable siphon shenanigans. I'm not really sure what you do with Quetzal besides siphon people through their barriers. So wild side all day. I'll just leave R&D wide open, it's fine. Till the meeting comes down, it's fine anyway. Then it's probably not fine anymore. Um, mm -mm, ooh, that's a good card to draw. Could we push this Oak Town out? Behind the curtain, we can't really afford the curtain. If we can do it next turn. Unless he gets E3 down, in which case the curtain is kind of sad. Speak of the devil. So this curtain is now pretty underwhelming. I mean, there's maybe an argument to try it anyway. Got the swordsman to cover Faust, which is most likely what he's going to use. Everybody's using Faust these days, and Faust is good with E3 because you can discard a card to break the first sub and then just spend money for the rest, whatever you want to do. Uh, let's keep this a surprise. I think I want to just res the Enigma. And we'll get the click tax. Well, that worked better than I thought it would. He didn't have the right one, which is still an Anarch thing. It's not like you have SMC, you know. You're really playing the cards that you come out of your, that come out of your wild side. Okay, now we need to protect R and D. Picks off Radonis. Oh well, he's paying real money, so. Better get a Radonis rolling. We're on 21. Huh. What is the play here? Archer forfeiting Oak Town doesn't even blow him up. But we don't have that irrelevant ice. This is only going to be. Yeah, not a lot. Oh well, that's what we have, so we'll put it down. Uh, let's check the... Boot camp is probably not that good this game. I'm gonna check my list again. What do we have for... stuff? It's hard to find anything here. Got another Adonis. Elizabeth Mills probably don't need that. Okay. So we'll just throw away the boot camp then. It's to find our Jackson, but shouldn't really need it. Ah, uh, there's Faust. Okay. Gotta get this under control. 
Uh, we could purge, but it's probably not as good as just trying to do the oversight. So it's once per turn, so let's stack R&D. Say get out. We can purge next turn if we feel like it. The Orsa Archer is pretty beefy against David because they can't trash it with just three counters. And against Faust, if he wants to spend a bunch of cards to trash it, that's fine too. It's a minimum of three cards and then three bucks on the E3. It's not a gigantic tax, but it'll do. It's way better if they don't have E3, obviously. Well, I guess you can use David in E3 to break this archer. Yeah, we're just bleeding credits either way, so it is what it is. I kind of don't want to just slam this Hollywood. Yeah, there it goes. Did want to discard a card, two cards to break, and then you can use E3. Oh, we just know the money actually. Okay, so Double Hive is still doing a bit of work for now. Now what do we do here? Forked, huh? Okay, we'll get our Adonis back. If we can bait him into coming here and blow his Faust up, I would be very happy. I guess we can't. Oh, this curtain wall is not doing what I hoped it would. Um, awkward. Oh, demo run. Juicy. It's going to actually break with Faust here. It's going to nail four cards. Don't know how good that really is. Cards. The government takeover is there, and we're playing not punitive. Yeah, you never find it anyway. All right, that happened. So we're in rough shape. Our R&D is probably going to bleed out on us. We're playing a lot of barriers, and that's making things difficult. So he's thrown out spooned, he's thrown out forked. I guess knife is still in there waiting to just pounce on us. Oh, it's gotta be purged this turn, sadly. Neither of these get oversighted to much effect. Yeah, these are both equally useless. I guess this is one dollar more if he doesn't kill it for whatever reason. levy in there so we can same old we're never gonna run out of cards as long as you can kind of wait and stall other times definitely not David in two bucks that's so sad we need that we need the sword in the outside basically so we need to do We could do like oversight the Orion, put the sword in front. That would at least pick off his Faust. 
Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to pull this one off. He just got his free card thing rolling. Turntable is not really going to do much. Douches is all right. Well, I got too many cards in our hand. Let's make him come kill this. What are we going to spook and try to get Mimic out before he runs that? Mimic hasn't shown up yet. That's a bit surprising. He's going to do nothing and let us have a giant stack of cash. I guess that's fair. Another hive, huh? HQ or not. Yeah, it is. Well, it's got to hope he misses, right? At least we're getting to finally attack some of this assassin for a David token. That's too bad. Hard matchup. Too many barriers in this deck, I guess. We're playing, yeah, too many barriers. Oh, well, thanks for watching.